between 1983 and 2018 was one of Kilauea's longest eruptions, as during the 35-year-long eruption, 4.4 cubic kilometers of lava covered a total of 55.6 square miles, or 144 square kilometers of land. Approximately two-thirds of a square mile of land was added to the island, and a new volcanic cone grew, which was known as Pu'u O'o. While impressive, this eruption was largely confined to the region south of Kilauea's east rift zone in addition to Kilauea's summit caldera. Yet, during the last 1,000 years, lavas from this volcano have covered 90% of its edifice above sea level, which is outlined on screen. Thus, I present to you a time lapse of Kilauea's eruptions via lava flow coverage during the last 10,000 years, as the volcano has been almost continuously erupting during that time span. Very little early or middle Holocene exposed lava on the surface remains as most of what was erupted between 9000 BCE and 1000 BCE was covered by more recent lava flows. All that remains from this period are a fissure in a small spatter cone south and southwest of the city of Pahala. Between 1000 BCE and 500 CE, lava flows erupted from both rift zones including in an area primarily to the south and slightly east of Kilauea's summit, which, in more recent times, aka the last 1000 years, has not been the site of any eruptions. From 500 to 1250 CE, more eruptions occurred over a wide area. A major eruption, or series of eruptions, occurred between 1410 and 1460, coating an area in lava which in the last 250 years has not seen any eruptions. Between 1790 and 1919, alternating rift zones were at times dominant, with the southwest rift zone producing a fairly large lava flow in 1919. A large east rift zone eruption occurred in 1955, and in the next decade several smaller eruptions in the same rift zone also occurred. Between 1969 and 1974, a lengthy and unusually voluminous eruption produced a Mauna'ulu vent with many lava flows flowing towards and reaching the ocean. Another major eruption followed, and between 1983 going up until 2018, this eruption built the Pu'u O'o cone, which covered a vast area in dark black basaltic composition lava. I want to note that the Google Earth file used in this video can be found via a U.S. Geological Survey webpage at the link being shown on screen, with the data utilized in the Google Earth overlay originating from the following sources. I hope that you enjoyed today's video as it was a bit different than my usual content. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.